explore. Uh, oh, sir. Could you find it in your heart to donate some money for the poor? Perhaps cast a little sunlight into their lives? Well, maybe, but ain't it the Lord's responsibility to look over his flock, not mine? Yes, but the Lord has brought you to me so you could help me. They're at their wit's end, and their faith has been cast aside. All it would take is a few dollars to get them started on the right path so they could see there are those who care. A few dollars to completely restore someone's faith? I never knew life is so simple. There you are, sister. Yes. Life is much simpler than we make it. Gracias, señor. And God bless you. No me toques. Me gusta la Ay, no tengo nada. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, I thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Mr. Marston. How you keeping, sir? Just fine, thank you. And you? Very well, sir. Thank God my wife died. Unlucky in love, lucky in cards. Garzon, champagne for everyone. Keep playing, Mr. Ricketts. Oh, I'm sorry, Herr Muller. I'll keep playing you in servitude for the rest of your life on Earth, if that makes you happy. Yes, I shall indeed, sir. Well, then, your deal. <laughs> oh, Marston, would you like to join us? I don't think so. I'm just going to have a drink. Oh, come on. Sit down. Sit down. Okay, then. Gentlemen. Hey. Namakshon!
I wonder if you Mr. Ricketts here Paul I'll take a whiskey if you're buying Miller Call I'll call Lady Luck is sure kicking my ass today I just ain't getting the cards. That's me out. Bolt. Both as lucky as each other. Dang. Smile, fellers. We're all friends here. I'll call. That's better. I fold. I'll check. Interesting. No, thank you. <laughs> Looks like the table is turned. You fucking cheat! Excuse me? You fucking looked in my fucking cart, you fucking cheat! Now, Herr Muller, let's calm down. There must be some mistake. There's no mistake. Your Yankee friend here is a fucking cheat. Easy there, Germany. Calm yourself down. Oh, yeah. You know exactly what you did. Yeah, I know exactly what I did, friend, which was nothing. Now, I'd prefer it if we could all play a friendly game and no one get hurt. You, you planted this guy, Ricketts. Now, why would I do that? I've already beaten you. Now, calm down and let's finish the game. There's no, no more cards game. Ease up there, friend. There must be a name for this. An impasse, sir. An impasse. We could all die here and now. I'm not fighting you, Ricketts, but the Yankee him I don't like. He's done you no harm, Muller. He's done me no good either. Outside, winner takes the pot. The winner will take what he wants. The other man will be in no position to argue. Sanchez will be my second. As you wish, Germany. As you wish. Walk with me, John. I want to make sure you know how this is going to work. A duel is all about timing. If you pull your gun too soon, you'll be less accurate. After you draw, pick your shots carefully, like I showed you. Once you've picked your marks, the rest, my friend, is in the hands of fate. Let's get this over with! Remember what I told you. You should have stayed home, Yankee! too early. Come on, we've earned ourselves a drink. I think Mr. Muller's buying. Your health. <laughs> you, uh, the man like on Marston, see? <laughs> you like killing? Watch me cut her throat. Nice friends you got here, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> Do you, Marston. Eh, peleamos ahora, eh? We fight now. <laughs> Marston, I know that girl. No, por favor. No puede ser. Ayúdame, alguien. I don't care how many you are. We got this covered, Marston. I know we can shoot I've had it with you. Oh, I think we can Well, I'm 
must say, you tourists certainly bring peace and prosperity to this land. Then again, I doubt Muller will be missed. He wasn't much of a poker player. Rest in peace, my friend. Hey, gringo. Mr. Ricketts, come on in. Sit down and have yourself a drink. Sure. Say, any word of Javier Escuela? Uh, no, nothing yet. Say, why are you after him anyway? We're old friends. We was kind of educated together. <laughs> so what is this, some kind of high school reunion sort of thing? Something like that. Well, well, you've killed people. You live the life. <sighs> that I have. And I tried to stop. I mean, I don't know. I tried to go straight. I did. I left the gang after the gang left me. Left me to die after I'd been shot. They'd all gone crazy anyhow. Our old leader? Fella you probably heard of. Anyway, he more or less lost his mind, went and shot a bunch of people on Fairlike. I got shot in a robbery. They left me, and I left them. <laughs> well, that's how it goes. <laughs> Already had me a woman, got me a farm, then I got me more trouble. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> been sent to track down the men I used to run with. Track them, kill them. Well, if you don't, someone else will. There's no escape. Look at me, I spent 25 years killing men. <laughs> Look at me now, sitting around here like some low-rent would-be messiah. <laughs> We're relics. Come on, have yourself another drink, and let's wallow in a little self-pity. Sounds like a plan. Your health. Mr. Ricketts, Mr. Ricketts, thank the Lord I have found you. And you, Mr. Marston. Will you sit down? You all right? I'm well, sir. But Allende is sending more men to the death. Prisoners who have not been tried. A prominent writer, Castilla, and a local official whose only crime was not putting the small holders on the street when they were late with taxes. Writers and government officials. For once, I agree with Allende. Some men need to be killed. Mr. Ricketts! I was just joking. Where are they? Out near Escalera. Let's hang up our self-pity and go shoot ourselves some bad guys. You're gonna be all right. Thank you. Both of you. ¿Qué tal? All right, here we go again. God! Luisa was pretty shaken up. She's angry. This war is getting dirtier by the day. People are being executed for just having an opinion. Linda seems to have more enemies by the day. Perhaps you would know. Rumor has it you've been making all kinds of new friends. I don't pay much attention to rumors. Just be careful, John. Keep jumping from one side of the fence to the other. You might just get impaled on it. I have to find these two men. With respect, how I do it is no concern of yours. Choose your tone wisely, partner. Remember who you're talking to. How could I ever forget? Who are you, John Marston? Apart from a rat feeding every other hand he can find, my name means something. All you've done is kill a few peasants, and the only real outlaw you've taken on dropped you like a bad habit. Now, I politely ask you to watch your tone, All Ricketts. I'm saying is, maybe there's a reason why people around here don't want to talk. 
You must miss your family. It's the only thing that keeps me going. You know, you remind me a lot of myself. How I used to be. Stubborn and angry. You ain't changed all that much. I always thought I'd lived a charmed life. Look! It's an army convoy. I think I see the prisoners in those wagons. Come on! See if you can take control of that first wagon. Twice the line! Now, we'll handle it from here. I know you got other matters to attend to. It's been nice riding with you, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> and you, too. You took me back to another time. Talk to Louisa. She'll help you, and she's well-connected in that other land. I hope you find what you're looking for, Marston. You know what I'm looking for. <laughs> if you say so, Marston. If you say so.
There is room. Okay, two digas. Where do you Escalera, want to go? please. Close your eyes. I wait you when we arrive. Well, this is the only chance I'm gonna get for rest. What do you want, gringo? What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. My name's John Marston. Been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, gringo? I guess. Because I'm not good enough for you? No, sir. You think you're better than me? You come to my country, my poor little country, and you think you can be friends with the president? Oh, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Things must have come out wrong. Maybe you can help me. You'll be sorry, friend. <laughs> relax! I mean, relax! <laughs> sure. Somewhere between a threatening stare and the soldiers armed to the teeth. Yeah. Yeah, you had me. Welcome to Mexico, amigo! Let's come me drink. And then we'll talk. My name is Capitan Vicente de Santa. John Marston. My country is in pain, John Marston. Terrible pain. The rebels have seized the people by the throat and destroy a way of life. I'm no politician, sir. And I am uh, no soldier, Aquila. Mm -hmm. But we are both beholding to our time. A brave man, perhaps you've heard of him, Coronel Alande. He's trying to preserve the order in our province, to keep our civilization alive. It is tough. The people are and usually swayed. Sometimes in the service of what is right, you gotta do terrible things. <laughs> it breaks my heart. I also am no moralist, sir. I wish I enjoy your freedoms, Mr. Marston. I'm trying to find a man, an American, an outlaw named Bill Williamson. I believe he came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no moralist, but you hunt outlaws? So it would seem. You heard anything of these men? I am the government, or what is left of it. Outlaws seek each other. They're possibly hiding with thieves and killers who pose as freedom fighters in the hills around here. They're united under one traitor named Abraham Reyes. Where could I find this Reyes? If I knew, I would be there, hunting him with everything that is true within me. Reyes finds you. Like cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. But it's possible, though. My men are trying to lure him into a trap. Possibly you could ride with us. And if everything goes okay, I'm sure the coronel will help you. Okay. Vámonos! You can take your horse or ride on the wagon.
you did not expect such a warm welcome from the Mexican army, I can see. I didn't know what to expect. I hadn't even crossed the border and I was being shot at. You will hear a lot of words like tyrant and oppression here. Words of the peasants have been taught. But do not understand meaningless words. The army is suffering um, a crisis of reputation. Even I've heard about the colonel down here. He's not famous for his compassion. This is the point. Have you met Coronel Allende? Do you know him? No. Like a papagayo? He just repeat lies you heard. Baby. Allende is a good man, a strong man. He carries the weight of a million problems on his shoulders. Am I supposed to pity him? You gringos are so quick to judge. You love to talk badly of other people because it makes you feel better about yourselves. Maybe you should look in the mirror. You're the one talking about this, and I ain't here to make judgment on the way of your government. I've got enough problems with my own right now. This isn't America, Senor Marston. We are poor. Kindness must take a different form. What is better? To pull your arm around a hungry man? Or to beat him until he grows some food to eat? I think you need to answer that question yourself. It's not far now. Are you ready? Ready for what? We will lure the rebels into a trap. There's a train leaving to Barossa soon. We're going to escort it. They will think it's a supply train. There are no supplies on it. Very clever. We must throw the rats out of their holes. Give them some bait they can refuse. Come on, the train is waiting.
compadre. You did a good thing for Mexico today. Real Allende will be very pleased. Los rebeldes están robando el tren. Levántese, perezoso, que yo para que le estoy pegando. Marston, you're going to have to do something. What? You have to go out there and start the train before it crosses the bridge. Yeah. Todavía levántese. Ay, Usted joder. también. Ay, y allá atrás, muévase. ¿Qué le pasa a usted? Ay, oh, Dios mío, levántese. Ya mismo.
fast. Enough. Stop hitting the girl. Hey, are you happy now? You're low, brother. Huh? You like her? You can have her. Yeah, she's pretty clean and pretty dirty also. Huh? She's yours for 200 American dollars. Mario, you are evil. No, Eva, I'm just a cow herd who can no longer afford the cattle. <laughs> you want a cow? A cowboy? Huh? Holy Mother, save me from this man. Come on, two hundred dollars, man. I don't believe. <laughs> that. I doubt you'll be needing this. There is room, gringo. Where are you going? Give me the paradino. You can rest. I will tell you when we arrive. Well, this is the only chance I'm going to get for rest. See you again sometime. Pesa mucho. Está bien, mamá. Está bien. No. Señor Marston. Mamá, papá. Este es el gringo que me salvó. Muchas gracias. Uh, my family is indebted to you. Forgive my English. What's happening? Great and terrible things. The revolution is coming. The country will be in turmoil once more. This time, we hope it's the last time. Does that seem likely? With Abraham Reyes, anything is possible. Where's your family going? My parents and my brother are headed to the hills. My sister has to flee. The army have an unfortunate way of treating women. And you? Don't worry about me, Mr. Marston. I'm living in history. I'm not afraid to die. Your nobility is almost as affecting as your naivete. I would rather be dead than a cynic like you, Mr. Marston. I would too. I know you're not really like that. You saved me. Uh, Luisa, ¿quién va a salvar a Miranda? Tenemos que llevar al puerto su barco sale al anochecer. No queda tiempo. Mr. Marston, can I ask one more favor of you? Can you take my sister to the docks? We are sending her to work for a kind man in the Yucatan. She's too young for revolution. Okay. Anything I can do to help out? The boat leaves at sundown. Miranda, vamos. Oh, Dios, Miranda. Ten cuidado. Adios. Te amo. <laughs> my brother has given us his stagecoach. They are good horses. Before I change my mind. Paren! Papeles! Este camino está prohibido! What do they want now? Act normal. It's nothing to worry about. Te conozco. Eres un pinche rebelde. Disparen! Van a dejar escapar!
Likely. I ain't planning on staying very long. In some other life, then? Maybe. You should get going. Travel safely.
¡Eres llorón, maricón! ¡Me das asco! ¡Hablas lealtad, pero eres transparente! ¡Estarás apaleando cuando mi cabeza está en pelado! ¿Verdad? No, 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 mi excelencia. Mis hombres y yo estamos trabajando noche y día por su honor. ¿Honor? ¿Qué eres, un muchacho? ¡Jovencito sin vergüenza! ¿Qué diablos es este cabrón? Estás también en los hotos de Fir Reyes. También I spoke to you of. Frente a México. Hello, sir. Hola, gringo. So you are the bounty hunter, huh? Have you found your prey yet? No, sir. Ah, uh, perhaps you come to hunt me, huh? Your country loves to make trouble in mine. Perhaps, but it isn't so. Ah, uh, perhaps I should tie you to a horse and let it drag you around town. Or let the dogs fight you, huh? <laughs> then see what you say. I'd say the same thing. I'm here to bring two men to justice, nothing more. Your politics or ideas of entertainment are not my concern. Yeah, I suppose not. Pero son tuyos. Sinceramente, espero que me encontraste alguna compañía más interesante que ese bruja que me traíste anoche. Let me ask you this, sir. Do you know anything of the men I'm looking for? Escuela is from this province. His uh, father was a borracho, a drunk who worked as a laborer on land cultivated by my uncle. Men like that are natural allies for Reyes. My people have lived and worked here for a hundred years. We brought civilization. And these people, these fucking monkeys, despise us. We brought them God! And they turned their back on him. Now I fight to help them from themselves, to save them from themselves. I see in their faces that they would kill me if they could. <laughs> Is she only a tyrant? That is the way it is. These people need a ruler. Well, sorry to hear that. Sorry? Why be sorry? It is a way of mankind. A fight between two forces. Que sera, sera. What will be, will be. But I know one thing, Senor Marston. Force, <laughs> force, must be used if you are to have your own way. I'm sure. Now, Perhaps you can uh, do me a favor while I find these men for you. After we find the men, then I'll help in any way I can. Ah, that, 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 that. You are in no position to negotiate. Now, por favor, a bunch of these idiots men are fighting at Tesoro Azul. Now, you head there and you lend your support. Baboso, ¿cuántas veces voy a decirte? No ponga detrás de mí. ¿Qué eres, cabrón? No está mi sombra. Vaya. Follow me. We must hurry. ¿Cómo está usted? Yeah. So I finally met your great leader. He certainly lives up to his reputation. What would you know about leadership? Only that most can't handle power. And this isn't to criticize power when you have never had it yourself. Maybe it is because you have never been in the presence of a strong man before. I have seen the pictures of your country in the newspapers. Men printing and decorating themselves like women. Vanity is the legacy the British left behind. Look, I don't know the fella. Just saying. That's how he treats his own men. Coronel Allende controls any situation he's in because he knows that situation can never be allowed to control him. It is what a leader must do. And in case you had not noticed, we're fighting a war. We're all under a lot of pressure. Pressure to find young girls? The Coronel needs recreation like everyone else. He does not have time to court women. He's waging a war on ignorance and is impatient for victory. He's trying to inspire wisdom in those more stupid than himself. We must hurry! You Americans think you can ride? Do you? Come on! I will race you there! <laughs> can you go any faster? Come on!
Zeta, ¿por qué tardaste tanto? ¿Y quién es este gringo? Octavio, favor. Nada, hombre, ayuda. I hope you fight better than this little girl, gringo. Come, let's have some fun. crying in that house over there. Remember, nobody takes them before Allende. We did all this just to get women for Allende? <laughs> no, that's just a bonus. This village is riddled with rebels. Make sure they don't have homes to come back to. There are fire bottles over there. Use them to burn down some of these houses. And what makes you think I'd do that? You want to find Javier Escuela, don't you? Dan, you're helping Mexico. Vámonos, muchachos. ¡Buen trabajo! Yo me quedo aquí para vigilar el gringo, Capitán de Santa. You heard the captain? The fire battles. Por aquí, imbécil. ¿Por qué no me sigues? Venga, let's do it quickly. I want to go home. Relax. Come back to the villa. It's time for some of the new girls before they spoil. 